day is really about three things. It's about one, getting kids excited about science. It's about two, convincing kids that science is for everyone. It's not just people like me with beards and lab coats that do science. And three, it's also about learning Falmouth or reminding Falmouth that we've got a fantastic university, an international class university, right on our doorstep, populated by world-class researchers, all of whom, a lot of whom are here today, and some of whom are talking about a We have a tremendous tradition in this country of amateur naturalists providing some of the most important information that all of us base our science on. Right back to Victorian naturalists you know, documenting when the first brimstone butterfly emerged or, or when the first migrants arrived in the spring. All the information they provided has formed the knowledge that, that, you know, that I steal and use every single day in my television programmes. You know, just because someone is not a qualified scientist doesn't mean that they don't have important data to put across. The magical point of this is that it doesn't matter how you feel about your wildlife, whether it's yuck or whether it's yay, all that wildlife is connected to each other and it's connected to you in one big food web. So think about your perceptions of wildlife, change your perceptions if you can, but always remember that everything interacts with everything else and it's all important. The information that's gathered by, by children, by families, can become nationally significant. It, it can actually really discover real things. I guess it's very important from a personal perspective to have an interest in, in the wildlife that surrounds us. Um, but apart from anything else, because of the way that it enriches our experience of the world around us. It could completely enrich or change your experience of the world around you and the only way that you do that is by learning more about about the world around you and it starts at home it starts with the grass that you walk on in your back garden it starts with the flowers that pop up in the spring it starts with with just having a connection with the world that's around you every day we love science well i looked through owl poo and found We have to be looking at whole ecosystems as being the most important things that we, we need to preserve. You know, I think it's easy to go through life without really noticing some of these crucial things uh, if you don't get a chance to, to sort of have them pointed out to you and have a chance to, to sort of kind of really look at them carefully. I don't think it's just the kids, I mean, parents also enjoy this too.